Okay, the third and final way to solve a system of equations is by what's called elimination. Elimination. And there's kind of three different kinds of elimination problems. First of all, elimination is usually used or always used when uh, both of the equations are in standard form. Now we're going to call it a modified standard form because uh, remember that in order to actually be in true standard form, the, the um, coefficient here can't be negative. So technically negative 5x plus 13y equals negative 7 is not in true standard form, but we're going to just say that it's a modified standard form. So you're going to use elimination if both equations have the x term, then the y term, then the equals, then the constant. Okay. Now the goal of this <clears throat> is to get the same coefficients on one of the variables with opposite signs. Okay. Now, the first one I gave you already has that condition met because I have a negative 5x here and a positive 5x here. So if you have the same coefficient with opposite signs on either the x or the y, you just simply add the equations together. So negative 5x plus 5x cancels out. That gets eliminated. That's why it's called elimination. 13y plus 4y is 17y. And then negative 7 plus 24 is 17. Divide by 17, and I get y equals 1. Okay, now I can take my y equals 1 and plug it back into either equation. It doesn't matter. I'll just do the second equation. 5x plus 4 times 1 equals 24. So 5x plus 4 equals 24. So 5x equals 20, and x equals 4. So my solution should be 4, 1. And I'll double check it in the other equation. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20, and negative 20 plus 13 times 1, which is 13, negative 20 plus 13 is negative 7. So it worked. Okay, now this one, <clears throat> remember the goal is to have same coefficient, opposite sign. Here I have a 1x and a 1x, so I have the same coefficient, but they're both positive. So in that case, if that happens, change all the signs on one of the equations. So I'm going to make that a negative x, make that a negative 3y, and make that a negative 11. Now the condition is met, so I have opposite coefficients with the same, I mean with opposite, same coefficients with opposite signs. I can add them together. x plus negative x gets canceled out, eliminated. Negative y, negative 4y plus negative 3y is negative 7y. And negative 18 and negative 11 is negative 29. <clears throat> and so now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. Twenty nine divided by 7 is going to be a decimal. So I'm just going to use 29 sevenths, unless I made a mistake somewhere. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to take negative 29 sevenths and I'm going to plug it in for x. I got some icky numbers here for 29 sevenths. Take negative 18 plus 29 sevenths. I get negative 4y equals negative 13.85. Divide that by negative 4. And I get 3.4. So I have icky numbers here. I was trying to give you some easy ones, but the point of this one was um, that I had the same coefficient, but I had opposite signs. So what I needed to do was change all the signs on the second equation. Okay. Now, what if you don't have any like coefficients? Like that, negative 9 and negative 7, those aren't alike. 4 and 16, those aren't alike. Then you're going to have to do some multiplying in order to get uh, the equations to have the same coefficient. So you got to look at the numbers here. If I were to multiply this top equation by 4, then I would have a 16x here and a 16x here. So that's what I'm going to do. You want to look at all four of your terms here and see what you need to multiply by. 
So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4, and I mean every term. So I end up with negative 36y plus 16x equals 80. Notice I multiplied everything. 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times 20 is 80. Then I'm just going to copy down the second equation. And now I have one of the conditions met. I have like coefficients, which is what I want. But now they don't have this, or they have the same sign. I want them to have opposite signs. So I'm just going to go ahead and change all the signs on the second equation. Now they have opposite signs. Now I can go ahead and add them together. So negative 36 plus 7 is negative 29y. Notice that the x, 16x and negative 16x cancel. And in this case, so does the 80 and the negative 80. So a lot of times when people get students get 0 as an answer, they think it's wrong. But 0 is a perfectly fine number. It just means it's crossing on an axis, that's all. So divide by negative 29, you're going to get y equals 0. y equals 0 means these two lines are crossing at an x-intercept. Okay, now I put y equals 0 into here. And negative 9 times 0 is just 0, so that cancels out. 4x equals 20 makes x equal to 5. So these two lines are crossing at 5, 0. Okay, then we want to check that in the second equation. Negative 7 times 5 is negative 35. And negative 35 plus 16 times 0 is um, 0. That did not work. Let's see, what did I do wrong? X is 5. Oh, I just am checking this wrong. Negative 7 times 0 is 0. And then 16 times 5 is 80. I had those mixed up in my mind. See, I, I make mistakes too. That's why it's always really good to check your work. This took me a little bit um, to figure out what I did wrong. So x was 5, 16 times 5 is 80, and this one cancels out. So the answer is 5, 0. Okay, another one. I'm going to take a look at this, and I'm going to see what would make it so that the coefficients would be the same. 5 and 11 are hard because 5 doesn't go into 11 in any way. But 2 and 4 are going to work, because if I multiply this second equation by 2, I will end up with a 4y here and a negative 4y there. So that's what I want. I'm going to multiply that by 2. So negative 4y plus 11x equals 67. And then I get 4y plus 10x equals 38. 2 times 2y is 4y. 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times 19 is 38. They already have the opposite signs, so that's good. I can just go ahead and add them together. The y's get eliminated. I get 21x equals 67 plus 38 is 105. Divide both sides by 21, and I get 5, so x is 5. Once I know x is 5, I can plug it into either equation. I'll do the second one, so 2y plus 5 times 5 is 25 equals 19. So 19 minus 25 is negative 6. So y equals negative 3. So this answer should be 5, negative 3. And I'm going to double check in the first equation. So negative 4 times negative 3 is 12, plus 11 times 5 is 55. 12 plus 55 is 67. It worked. Okay, so that is if they already have the same coefficient, um, just add them together. Same coefficient with opposite signs, just add them together. If they have the same coefficient without opposite signs, just change all the signs on the second equation. If they don't have the same coefficient, look for something to be able to multiply one of the equations by in order to make it have the same coefficient as the other one. But what about if you can't find anything nice and easy to multiply by in order to get it to change? Then what are you going to do? So here's what I mean. What about this? There's nothing I can multiply 3 by to get 2 or 2 by to get 3 easily. 
or four to get three or three to get four. So at this point, I just have to decide if I want to eliminate the y's or the x's, and it really doesn't matter. But you just multiply the equation by the other equation's coefficient. So I'm going to multiply the top one by two and the bottom one by three. So this time we're multiplying both equations. I'm going to end up with 6x here and 6x here. So then I have the same coefficient. So I multiply everything on the top by 2. I get 6x plus 8y equals 30. Multiply everything on the bottom by 3. I get 6x plus 9y equals 33. Now I've got the like coefficients, but I need to have opposite signs. So change all the signs on the bottom equation. Add them together. 6x and negative 6x cancel. 8y plus negative 9y is negative 1y. 30 plus negative 33 is negative 3, so I get y equals 3. Once I know y is 3, plug it back into here. 4 times 3 is 12, so I have 3x plus 12 equals 15. Subtract 12, 3x equals 3, so x equals 1. And then I double check that 1, 3 works in the second equation. 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 plus 9 is 11, so it worked. All right, last one, and then you know how to solve a system by graphing, by substitution, and three different kinds of elimination. This one, nothing is easy to make 5 and 3, nothing is easy to make uh, 3 and 2. Since these already have opposite signs, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top one by 2 and the bottom one by 3. That way I'll have negative 6 and positive 6. Otherwise, I could do 3 here and 5 here and then change all the signs on the second one, but I, I'm going to skip that step. So multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 3, I get 10x minus 6y equals negative 2, and 9x plus 6y equals 21. Always remember that you have to multiply every single term, not just part of the, not just part of the equation. Okay, every single term. Now I already have opposite signs because I chose to eliminate the y's, so I can just go ahead and add these together. I get 19y equals negative 2 plus 21 is 19. So y is 1. Once I know y is 1, plug it in here. 3 times 1 is 3. So I have 5x minus 3 equals negative 1. I add 3 to both sides. I get 5x equals 2. Divide by 5, we get x equals 2 fifths, which is 0. 0.4. And then I have to go ahead and double check that this worked. 3 times 0. 0.4, 3 times 0. 0.4 is 1.2 plus y is 2. 1.2 plus 2 does not equal 7, so clearly I made a mistake somewhere, and that's actually good. It's actually good that I made a mistake, so that you guys can see it's okay to make a mistake. Let's see if we can figure out where it's at because when I checked it in the second equation, it did not work. 10x minus 6y equals negative 2. 9x plus 6y equals 21. Add them together, get 19y equals 19, so y is 1. I'm going to go ahead and plug y into the second equation instead of the first equation just to see. 3x plus 2 times 1 is 2 equals 7. 3x equals 5, so x equals 5 thirds. x is 5 thirds, and y is 1. Let's check that one. x is 5 thirds, and y is 1, so 5 times 5 thirds is 25 thirds. Minus 3 times 1 is 3. That didn't work either. Huh. I'm at a loss here as to what I did wrong. Extra credit if you can find my mistake. I don't want to waste any more of your time looking for my own mistake, but um, yeah, extra credit if you can find my mistake. Otherwise, since I'm having trouble with it, I can go ahead and multiply by 5 and 3 instead. To eliminate the x's, get 15x minus 9y equals negative 3. 
and 15x plus 10y equals 35. And then change all the signs on the second equation. 15 is eliminated. I get negative 19y equals negative 38. Divide by negative 19, and I get y equals 2. Get y equals 2. Plug in 2 here. 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 5y, I mean 5x, minus 6 equals negative 1. Add 6. I get 5x equals 5, so x equals 1. So 1, 2 is what I'm going to check. 3 times 1 is 3, plus uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. It works there. 5 times 1 is 5, minus 3, 5 minus 5, minus 3 times 2 is 6, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. It worked when I did it that way, but I couldn't find my mistake the other way. So again, I could start a video all over again and make it perfect, but I want to demonstrate that it, you're going to make mistakes in math and it's okay. Um, I couldn't find that mistake, so I abandoned it and uh, went by eliminating the X's instead. But I'll give you extra credit if you send me the solution the other way and find what my mistake was.